Hey guys, it's been a while. I'm here for another quickie. Now, I haven't uploaded in a couple of months, and I was planning to have one of my bigger videos be the return of a more consistent schedule, but alas, there's something too good to pass up. So to both quell concerns that I've quit and to let me ramble on about more anime that I like, I'm doing another quick video. This fall season has been a bit rough, to say the least. The only highlight that most people talk about is Yuri on Ice, and I don't even like the show that much. Most of the problem this season comes from me watching the first episode of most of these shows and never coming back to it. It's just one of those things viewers sometimes get, so for a while my schedule consisted only of Yuri on Ice and Keijo. Look, I got bored, I liked it, things happen. It's not just because there's boobs in it, I, I like it for action. But during the season, I remember watching a PV for an anime that seemed like the token feelsy slice of life anime for the fall. This was March Comes In Like a Lion, or Sun no Lion, if you're a dork. DORKS! I figured the anime was going to be nothing more than the usual dark premise with stuff that makes you feel warm inside, and the protagonist becomes every other protagonist and there's shogi in it somewhere. But after managing to marathon to get up to speed, I can say that March Comes In Like a Lion is not only a pleasant addition to the slice of life formula, but probably one of the most successful at nailing its atmosphere. To bring everyone up to speed, I'll have to do a quick and carefully worded synopsis. See, some of the story and development is slowly revealed over the course of the anime, so saying the now technically counts as a spoiler. Plus, personally, I think it's best to know as little as possible when going into this. Rei Kiriyama is a high school student who managed to become a professional shogi player in his middle school years. While his contemporaries and seniors shower him with praise, something doesn't quite feel right to him about his life. He lives on his own for reasons that are slowly revealed, and he has almost nothing but shogi. He occasionally swings by a family of sisters who are always eager to greet him and welcome him to their antics, but Ray himself still doesn't feel in place with his life. Even with his colorful cast of acquaintances, Ray still finds himself without anything to be a part of. That's essentially all I can give you as a synopsis because the anime doesn't really have a beginning or an ending. Its plot and backstory intermittently weave in and out of focus, and as such, there isn't really any sort of goal for Ray to have. It's an odd dynamic where most of the story takes place in the aftermath of story that is being told in portions. While this doesn't necessarily work for the typical show, in March Comes In Like a Lion, it manages to expertly nail this concept of complex storytelling. It's not just an anime that indulges in its tragedies, nor is it one that banks on just the fluffy moments. It uses a lot of its screen time on moments of silence, platonic outlooks, and an overall sense of nothingness. It fits that Rei is the name for the protagonist, a Japanese word that can describe nothingness, because the story is about the concept of nothing. Despite being a pro in shogi, the story is hardly about it and doesn't bother explaining the rules or the practice because it doesn't really matter. This isn't a story of self-esteem and trying to find something in someone's life. This is a story of a desperate kid trying to find anything in his life, anything that helps him not to be who he is or who he fears he might be. That doesn't stop that downer of a plot direction from the anime having cute moments, however. There are plenty of times where sound effects are accompanied with bubbly text and moments of genuine comedy from Rei's acquaintances to fit in between the soul-searching. You get a lot of good laughs from this anime, surprisingly, along with the cutest little girl in an anime ever. I'm calling it now! I'm claiming domain! The cutest girl in all anime is Momo! Video and video! Top 5 cutest anime girls, go! Number 1, Momo! Numbers 2 through 5, also Momo! Honorable mentions consist of Momo and Momo! There are no contenders! With this kind of setup though, an overly comedic section will become a hard contrast to the anime's darker moments and create some sort of feeling of misdirection. However, March does a very good job of not bringing too much of a focus on either aspect. So so it keeps the idea of nothingness as a central theme, with moments of reprieve and moments of sadness complementing it. It magically juggles the concept of how our joys come from the fact that we were once sad, and vice versa. It mimics what life is like, something that isn't permeated by just happiness or just sadness, it's a mixture. But then it adds in the usually forgotten element of nothing, which people forget as a literary device. The only negative I would have to say of this is that it tends to use a lot of symbolism in its cinematography. While anime like Erased used symbolism as a foreshadow and didn't interrupt the flow of the narrative, there were a couple times where March had some strange editing or camera shots. It was something that would look awkward to someone who doesn't usually catch on to symbolism, and unfortunately that's an issue when it comes to story flow. There are a few times where a casual conversation is interrupted with a dramatic head turn that doesn't really have any drama in it. It's definitely strange to watch for someone who is just watching and not trying to find something deeper. But one thing that is definitely not a negative is its presentation. Yuri on Ice got attention because of its animation, before it turned into Play-Doh that is, but I'll be damned if March isn't one of the best animated drama anime I've seen in a while. Not only does the animation look smooth as all hell, but the character design is also top notch. It can look cute, it can look solemn, and it can look like nothing at all. 
all. And while the editing can sometimes be weird for the sake of symbolism, it also lends itself to sneaking clues into the viewer's head of the backstory before it's fully revealed. This also has a hand in the music, which covers essentially every mood you can think of. There's sorrowful tracks, happy tracks, adorable tracks. It's got everything to cover a roller coaster anime like this. The opening is also superb and stylized that goes along perfectly with the song by Bump of Chicken. Marge Comes In Like a Lion is a definite black sheep. I never expected it to be such a deep form of storytelling, one that sports a large range of moods and styles. It manages to perfectly juggle emotional flow on both sides of the spectrum, something that I thought was previously impossible. The anime is still yet to be completed, but I expect some good things from it. So as for now, I'll have to hold off on completely analyzing it until its conclusion, whatever that may be. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.